I've been proclaiming on this program for I don't know how long, it's been years at this point. Ankalaev will be the champion at some point. He somehow, because of his fight style, became the forgotten man. But here he is. He has to have a big win here. Dana White said, you can get a title shot, but you have to have a good win. You can't have a boring win. And that throws this all into flux for me, AJ, because I can't trust these guys who have to perform a certain way and deviate from the style that got them to the dance. Rakic is nasty, nasty leg kicks, big power, good takedowns and good takedown defense. But Ankalaev is a, is a space crusher, efficient, just a little less defense than you would like to see at times, but he knows how to get the fight to the ground. My only problem is he's talking with everybody, including Alex Paeda, like, I don't need to take y'all down. I'll knock you out. All right, AJ, give me a, a real true assessment here, man. What kind of fight does Uncle Ive have to have to be successful and to honor the minus 250 open and the current minus 390 live odd? What does he have to do to honor that price? Because I don't like it. Man, he's going to have to put Rockage to work. Absolutely. Well, the one thing I like most about Uncle Live, he kind of lulls you in, right? He, he gets you thinking. He's just boring. Like, 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 like you said, Derek, the defense isn't there because he's trying to get you to attack. He lulls you into that sleepiness. And once you do crash on him, he closes that space and then puts you down, right? And that, that's one of the best things he can do for this fight with Rockage. Nullify the leg kicks at distance, right? We saw uh, in, um, in Uncle Live's last fight, the leg kicks do some damage. So if he can nullify those from Rockage, get in close, put him down and get the finish. That's how I think he deserves that minus 300 odds. And as well as the, ch uh, the, the chance to fight for the gold. Brother, not minus 300, minus 390. Money line on Kalayev, man. Listen, I'm a big fan. I can't honor the price. I can't do it. I cannot do it because Rockage is a dangerous, dangerous fighter. And I actually implore you guys, if you're on Uncle Live, which that is the consensus pick, but if you're on Uncle Live, you have to hedge with Rockage. You have to hedge a little something. Look at the odds currently. What did I say? Plus 290 for Rockage right now. They're giving the man essentially no shot. And this dude lands big. It's just a matter of... I, this is what's sticking in the back of my head, man. In a normal fight, I'd be like, yeah, all day on Kalayev, all that. I still don't like the price, but like all day, right? But is he listening to what they're saying? He's like, I need to get that title fight. I have to do something fancy and fight out of my element, man. In a pure tit for tat striking matchup right here, who has the edge? Oh, uh, Rockets all day long. Well, but like why though, right? Because we know he, he throws big, right? But look at what happened against Yuri, man. Yuri just kind of beat him with pressure. That's really all it took beat him with pressure and unorthodox angles right uncle live he, he he has that that kind of sit there and and stand and, and push you pressure forward one direction right back and forth that's it that's all we're seeing rockage yeah. has the ability to be able to cut angles hit some solid leg kicks has power in the right hand basically has all the skills that uncle live has a little more athleticism a little bit more speed but also the the pedigree that has followed rackage i mean two years ago man we were talking about this guy's on top of the world now He's kind of faded off into the ether. Yeah, I mean, before Uncle Iev, Rakic was the forgotten man, you know what I mean? Or he was the guy, right? So, like, yeah, they kind of swap, swap spots right here. So, this is what I will say, man. Minus 105 decision prop for Uncle Iev, to me, says that he follows the normal game plan. Like, the, the normal game plan that we like. And I like that price. Like, I'll take that price all day long because I don't really see him knocking out Rakic, per se. And I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get the submission on Rakic or if he'll even look for the submission. Because when you look at Uncle Iev, he has zero submissions in the UFC. All of them are knockouts. So, not sure what he's going to be chasing. Rockage again, he lost due to pressure, but given that Ankalaev is a kind of technical fighter, I don't really see that being an issue. I just kind of look at this, man. Ankalaev, if he wants to win this fight, he has to cut the cage off. And that is one issue that I see. He tends to follow a little bit. And if you follow against Rakich, he's going to lull you into those traps. So if you can avoid the late kick, I think minus 105 decision is the play for Magomed Ankalaev. Or you can like parlay him into something. But I, again, AJ, I'm sorry. I can't take minus 390. I can't do it. What's your last takes on this? I can't do it either, Derek. I, I'm interested to see how, like, if, if we're even able to see the sniff of plus, a plus 1,200 submission. I don't think it's going to happen. I like the minus 105 decision with you.